Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kits. As you can see, the next on the bench is the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Gloom Spire Gits Mangala Squids. This is a single miniature. Uh, it's a fairly large -ish miniature. You have uh, two options in the box. You've got the Loom Boss on Mangala Squigs. And you've just got the Mangala Squigs themselves. Now, I'm going to do this as an appreciation bill to Al Woods. Al, this one's for you, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. And I've got me Harry and Bo Jelly Babies as well to keep me company. Welcome back. And this, uh, um, I'll show you where we've got to at this point in time. And in fact, I've actually got quite far because I got a bit carried away and, and didn't show anything. So, this is one of the squigs. Ugly looking bugger, even though he's out of, there you go, in focus a bit now. So, this one I've called a yellow back. They look like pigs, don't they? They've got like pig type feet. So that's the yellow back. Then, We got the blue mouth. Still got to do a fair bit on. I say a fair bit. Still got to do a lot on the um. We got the belt and stuff and got bits of to finish off. And then we got to make his mouth look wet with our saliva. Uh, we've got the chains which hold them together as a pair. Uh, they've all got to be painted up. And you've got the... Goblin Rider. He's... Uh, this one. He'll be on that one. And that one is the bottom one. Ooh. Then we got the This guy goes on this one on the top. Come on. With his uh, club in his gob. So he, he, he's on that one, and then we've got this icky uh, flying chappy that also goes on there. So there's two on the top ones. These two boys sit here together on the top. Trying to make. Then we've got to try. I've got to try and do something with the base. Not very good with bases, unfortunately. And then we've got a few other little bits and pieces to add to it. So there's... Um... Find it. Whoa! That one went all the Mushrooms and the mushrooms have faces. How amusing is that? That's hilarious. We got oh yeah, he had a grot running for his life. Okay. 
Come on, focus. And then we got a grot with a mushroom running for his life. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I've uh, done a bit more. See you in a bit. Okay, just a quick catch up again. Um, all the chains been painted in black and silver. Dry brushed. Um, we're in the process of getting the little gobbos done. The night, I think they're night haunt goblins. There's the one that's doing his fine trapeze act. we got to deal with all their teeth and things. That's the guy that's normally on the uh, sun top one, I think. And then we've got the white. Well, we're not. Just getting him sorted out. The time one of the tiny little gobos. Is the one with the mushroom. Gotta paint the mushroom up here on that one. But on that we're uh, not far off from finishing. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. So here is my finished Bloom Spite Gets Manga the Squid as an appreciation build to um, our good friend in the community, Al Wood, of Al Wood's Bloom Mayhem. I know you're into the squigs, Al, so I thought I'd do this one for you. I hope you like it. We've got two riders on the top. Squig up the top. I've called him a blue mouth because basically he's got a blue mouth. And in our blue mouth inside. And a big old blue tongue. I could have called him a grey spike, but I thought no, so I'll call him a blue mouth. And he's got a wet, glossy, glossy tongue. Get him in close enough. There's the two. It's on the top, as they're called. And down the bottom, we've got a out of focus. <laughs> yellow Ridgeback. Well, I've called it a yellow Ridgeback. Focus. No. I think there we go. Tiny little fella down the bottom, running for his life. That ball that's coming. Uh, it does need a little bit more to the basin. I'll put it down. Uh, that was quite a bit of fun, painting that up, used about 40 different colours in that build, AK's, Vallejo model, uh, AK 3rd gen, uh, Vallejo model colour, um, army painter, um, Games Workshop, Ordinary Paints and Contrasts, 
and uh, Tamiya. I know people don't like contrast paints, but I actually used it through an airbrush. So there's like there's three different contrast reds there, sprayed through an airbrush. As opposed to how uh, you're supposed to use them, you know, just splash straight on. And then pick up the highlights after. Um, yeah, they, I'll tell you what, they go through the airbrush pretty well. As long as you can clean your airbrush up properly afterwards, fine. Focus. Oh, I can better just have to stay there. Thanks for watching. How I hope you uh, like the mangler squeaks. Uh, you're much appreciated, mate. And the same as everybody else. You're all appreciated on my channel, all the hands and all the new guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.